Today I'm going to show you how to make this flashing intro for your site. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Nino tutorial by your guy Nino and we're going to do a flashing intro web page for your website. So if you want to be creative out here and you're using Wix in order to make that creative website, then this is the tutorial for you as well as you can get some more ideas on how to structure your website if you're using any other platform. But let's get right into it. So what I did first was I went to menu and I added a new page. On this new page, I went to my add button. I scrolled down till I went to interactive. Then I pulled one of these out. So let's see, which one can I pull out? I'll pull out this one. So put this one on the, on the site. Okay. Now I just want you guys to get rid of all of this stuff right here, except for this one. Okay. Except for this one, we'll keep that right here. Uh, maybe right here, per se. Or you know what? Nope, we're gonna just leave this outside of it. Okay. We'll leave that there for later. Okay, so now just readjust your screen uh, just to about right here. I uh, don't have the specific parameters, but you get the gist. Okay, so we're going to manage our slides. We're going to go to slide one, okay, that we're on right now. And we're going to delete it. We're going to delete slide two. And we're going to delete slide three, or we'll just rename it. We'll rename slide three. Okay, so this will be I. This will be the I slide. So you want to get rid of this right here and you want to get rid of this button right here too, because we have the button down here. Okay. So what you want to do here is change the slide background. Let's change it to a white color. Okay. Make sure it matches up. Next, I will go over to the design and I will actually make my slide buttons transparent and I'll make my select button transparent, my arrows transparent, and my navigation arrows transparent. Okay? So that way it shows up looking like a blank screen. Okay? So now that we have a blank screen, what we wanna do here is go to this button, change the design of this button. Uh, let's see. We'll just change it to this one, one of the theme buttons. Make sure to check out my actual tutorial about buttons. Definitely helpful to know about the design features and the layout features and all of that. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep this simple and easy right here. So go ahead and click here, size that up to make it like right there underneath. Okay, so this is gonna be our first slide. What we're gonna do here is go over here to the text, okay. And we're gonna pull out one of these texts. So I'll pull out heading one. Whichever heading that you have, just make sure that you're bringing it out. Um, make sure it doesn't do this. Uh, don't know why it's doing this. Ah, okay. So I'm just going to reframe it. Make sure that you get creative with this, guys. I know you guys are gonna like it. Uh, this is at 200, I don't know why. So we're just gonna bring this down to 100. Okay, so we're going to readjust this to be center so that every time that I have my slideshow coming through, it will be the same. So here we go. Put it right here. Okay, so now, boom, we have the first slide done, all right? So what you wanna do here is go to manage slides and then you wanna duplicate this slide. Okay, so you'll go to these three dots right here and click duplicate. 
once you make that duplication, go ahead and rename this to uh, Sarah. Okay. And then I'm going to go back up here and rename this to I am and then put that in there. Okay. So we got the I am part. If you want to get fancy with this, definitely get fancy with it and space it out accordingly. All right. Make sure you center this up. Okay. So now we have this one right here and we're going to name this Sarah. And we're going to put it back to our same character width. Okay. I got to select it all and actually make it the character width. Okay. Boom. So we're almost there. We're almost ready to wrap this thing up. Okay. So you have, I am, and then you have Sarah. Okay. Go here. Make sure that you change the text to enter site. Uh, make sure to check out my tutorial on buttons. This will give you more in-depth approach about buttons and what you can actually use and what is very helpful for you uh, throughout your site. So I'm going to link this up to my projects page because that's where I want my visitors to visit upon entering the site. Now let's get to the juicy part. What we're going to do is head over to settings. Okay. We're going to keep auto plays on loading on. Okay. We're going to move down here and make this 1.4. Okay. So I can have nice quick action. Now the way I have it set up is for none. Okay. Let's uncheck the stop auto play on hover so that it will keep playing. And we want to hide content outside the frame. Okay. So that means that if you have some type of text message, or anything that was inside of here outside the frame, but it's actually inside of this interactive display, then it's going to get hidden from outside. But if you want it to keep it on the outside, then you just click this button off so that you can actually show that content outside of the interactive slideshow. All right. So, I think that's about it. Let's uh, try it out. Nice. So you have this interactive homepage that gets your visitors wondering, what is Sarah? What is Sarah all about? So they'll click this enter site and then they'll get right to what Sarah does and all of that. It's pretty neat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely give it a shot. If you have any questions, drop it below in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, ciao.